Hi everyone, today we've got a battery charger on the bench. I believe, it doesn't actually say anywhere, but I believe this one's made in Australia. 12 volt, 8 amp RMS, um, outputs 12 volts, 4.75 amp continuous. Now, it's just got a little display here, there's a circuit breaker, there's a boost switch, and just a normal charge. Um, I'll show you what it's doing. Listen to that noise. Not a good noise. Just chuck the multimeter over the leads. And we'll see what that says. So we're getting 4.5. Oh, it's constantly going down. But 4 volts. That's not quite what we're meant to be getting. So, we'll take him apart and see what we can find. Ta-da! Did all the hard work before. Let's have a look inside. We've got the power comes into the transformer. Comes out. Oh, see that's warmed up just from that little bit of runtime. Leave that going along. That's going to just overheat and cut out. That's the bridge rectifier. That turns the the AC signal into DC, which would then go on to charge the battery. Now, there's a little controller board there. You can see it's very basic. It pretty much just runs this display. I'm not going to take that out and flip it over because it'd be pretty boring. Just a few diodes and resistors. Um, there's an on-off there which is just directly tied on there um, and we've got that boost charge switch which just goes to some different coils on the transformer transformer is nice and cold bit of tape might be hand wound we've got enamel wires coming off with some wrap I'm plugging back in again and the noise should be coming from that rectifier there That's actually quite quiet. Move my hand. Oh, there it goes. I can hear that. It's just vibrating. Normal hum or not? getting worse. Oh, and it just cut out. See? Oh, look, there's a bit of blue smoke. Let's unplug it. It is definitely overheating. Whew! So, I reckon that's that bridge rectifier. Put a multimeter into diode mode. There's only four terminals, so pretty easy to guess. We'll put our negative on that sideways one. Now I'm going to have to get the head strap on. For this I can tell. So we'll do that. Right, I've got the multimeter. Let's do some tests. Okay, so see there where... Wow, that's really all over the place. Zero, zero, 001 across the diode. See, that that's not good. Go to the other one. 382. I'll move that down there. 384. Zero, zero, 001. Again, that's that's a broken reading. Should be more, something like that. Three, three at eight volts. If we move these around. Three ninety. Zero zero one. So it's just just not really happy there. 
zero zero one infinite and zero zero one. So if that's cooled down, which it's just cooled down enough to touch. Oh before we do that though, here is a replacement from India. We do the same test. Five oh nine, nine four nine, and five eleven. They're the readings we should be getting, roughly. The AC comes in on these two, the DC comes out on these two. And it doesn't it doesn't matter what way you put the AC into these, so you can have live and neutral or or neutral and live the polarity will always come out the same on the DC side. Now we look at that, it is they those spade bits are actually soldered to the terminals. Now that's going to be a hassle to get off. But we can do it. It just stops it being banged around the shed and stuff, it won't they they'll never come loose that way. Um, you know, we could cut them and redo them, but I, I don't have the bit to do spade bit that, that good, so we'll, we'll try and, um, we will try and heat up that solder and just pull them off. And then push them back on to the new one. Better fire up the soldering iron. I need another hand. If I heat that up, here we go. If I, if I heat that up, hold on to it with this hand, and push with that hand. We might, we might get somewhere else. Help if I turn the soldering iron on. I wind it up so it's pretty hot. Well, One. I have to remember that. Oh, that one it goes with that one. Oh shit! It's still very hot. Three.
Okay, so that's got him all done. We might just put on a little bit of uh, thermal paste. Ah, oh, no. Which is completely stuck. <laughs> what the? What is it? Come on. Oh, there we go. Got a syringe. I might as well use that up, I guess. Oh, there's heaps of that, though. What's this little one? I'm not going to bother cleaning it off. Dabs. Pop that through there. Pin him on. Beautiful. Now, it's test time. Put the multimedia on 20 volts. Plug him in. Dun, 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 dun. Hopefully, something will happen. Look, it's not making that big buzzy noise anymore. Saying the battery's full, and the multimeter is reading 10.9 volts. And put it on boost, it should change. 13.9. 12 volts, beautiful. Now I'll go, it's reading this because there's no battery hooked up. We'll go grab a battery and go from there. All right, back with the little little battery. Let's take him off there. See what we get, whoa, doesn't want to stick. Oh, he's a bit bent. Not a good example because this battery's actually full. Fifteen point two volts. That's good. Fifteen point four volts, perfect. 
so we can call that a success and put it back together wish I had a um, flat battery then we could actually see the gauge down but anyway we're good I don't know that's probably an $80 $100 battery charger fixed that part was eight dollars plus shipping and to get the specs on it this had some numbers on it you can see ACMS and MB354 I couldn't find anything on ACMS but MB354 um, whoever makes these ones I've sort of copied or they stick to a a certain um, naming convention which helps the 35 is amps and the 4 is for 400 volts so it's a 35 amp 400 volt bridge rectifier and there's plenty of them about so easy peasy but it, as, you've got to be very careful though if this is plugged in like it is now this transformer there's AC power running through here and you do not want to put anything in there you don't want to put your hands in there you don't want to put a screwdriver in there just nothing like that got to be safe no accidents nothing because you'll be dead and you don't really want to be dead so anyway thanks for watching on to the next thing